folks. My next guest tonight is an old friend and a very funny comedian who hosts the podcast Two Chairs and a Microphone. Please welcome Paul Mercurio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very nice. Uh, I got to tell you, I saw this the other night. Blew my mind. Uh, like a couple of blocks from the theater, running across Broadway, a rat with a whole green apple in his mouth. <laughs> like a big granny spade, just booking. And I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, good for him. He's eating healthy. <laughs> he's working out. His cholesterol numbers must be great, you know. <laughs> I'm tired. You ever been so tired you look at a homeless guy asleep on the street and go, boy, I wish I could sleep like that. <laughs> Right? I don't need a box spring. I need a box. <laughs> I'm tired because I have a kid, you know. And I, oh, can I show you what my kid gave me for good luck for the show, by the way? This is like favorite toy right now. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Cute, right? He's 15. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I can't believe it. You know, it, it goes by fast as a cliche. I can remember when he first started walking. Did you ever see a kid when he first starts walking? It's so cute because, like, he'd walk 10 feet and then he'd sit and he'd walk 10 feet and sit and walk 10 feet and sit. And I realized he's a security guard. <laughs> it's the most important thing you can do is have a kid. And no one checks with you from the government to see if you're qualified. I, I don't know anything. Every single person in this theater and every person watching at home at one point or another has said this, I can't believe that person has a kid. <laughs> right? I'm that person. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. That guy's a parent. He's clapping. You see him clap? You're a parent. I can tell. The first inkling you don't know what you're doing with your kid is th they're babies, and they're freaking out in the, the middle of the night, just having one of these crying jags, and you can't get them to stop. And me, being the moron that I was, the kid was eight months old, holding on to his crib for dear life. I start talking to him like he's an adult. Yeah, I try to reason with him, and he's freaking out. Ah! I'm like, what? What is it, Alex? What's wrong? Tell Daddy. Let's talk it out. What's wrong? Like, he's going to snap out of it and go, you want to know what's wrong, Paul? <laughs> well, I was very comfortable in the womb. You yanked me out of there. You snipped me down here. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> you wrapped me in what you call a diaper. Let's be honest, it's a plastic bag. I poop myself eight times a day. You hung this mobile above my head. You think it's cute? It is freaking me out right now. When I'm hungry, I can't even go to the fridge and get a popsicle. What do you think is wrong with me? You got me sitting in Santa's lap. Do you want me talking to strangers or don't you? Oh, and this? This? I see you, all right? Now, look, I, I, love my, I love my kid. I love my family. You don't have to have a kid to relate to this. It's overwhelming. Life's overwhelming, and it'd be exhausting, right? You're nodding your head, right? OK. I have these days. Do you ever have these days where you just, it's so, ugh, you don't want to go home? <laughs> you just can't deal with the chaos and the nonsense, right? You just want to avoid it. You know what I do? I go to the post office and stand in line all day. <laughs> Get to the head of the line. Next. No, I got nothing to mail. I, uh... <laughs> I just can't deal with going home and killing time. Oh, I hear you, man. Killing time, I've been there. Hey, you want to kill time? Go to the information desk. Ask them to explain the difference between express and priority mail. Yeah. <laughs> That'll take two years off your life. So, um, how you doing, John? I always wanted to learn a foreign language. I feel like I should, you know, be able to speak a foreign language. I was going to take a course. It's expensive. So instead, and you could use this idea, I'm learning a foreign language by reading the owner's manuals to my electronics. <laughs> huh? Yeah. These are my speakers. They're in like eight different languages. Chinese, ja German. I know German. Check this out, page 26. Das ist ein Busch ein in Subwoofer? I'm not exactly sure what this means, but when I read it, I am scared to death of my subwoofer. I'm learning French. Now, there's lots of different kinds of French. There's advanced French, there's intermediate French. I'm learning George Foreman Grill French. Yeah. It's the most beautiful of the romance manuals. Yeah. 
the other night, my wife's mad at me. I had to pay her a compliment. Like, she's like, whatever. So I just like go to the manual, like French, go to page 17. I said, sweetie, I'm sorry. You're beautiful. Your face looks just like a glisé le bac pour, <laughs> which apparently is a grease catching drip tray. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. His comedy album, It's Not Me, It's the World. It's on sale now. Paul McCurry, everybody. We'll be right back.